Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Nick's Quick Bits. Today I wanted to look at inversions, uh, triad inversions. So taking a three note major chord or minor chord and moving around the notes so the root note isn't always on the bottom and how we find those inversions on our guitar, kind of using maybe just the G, B and the high E string. Uh, so let's break it down. Uh, let's change the camera angle so you can see my guitar and uh, I'll talk you through it. So first things first, what is an inversion? Well, we're working with triad chords. So let's take three note chords. So for example, a C major. The notes in a C major are C, E and G. And let's say we change the lowest note uh, from C to E. So we would play our C major now like this. Now this is still a C major, but it's an inversion. It's a C major first inversion because we've put the E, which is the third interval in the bass or as the lowest note. Now let's say we want to change it so the fifth is the lowest note. So that would be a G in the bass. And we can play that maybe like this. So our G note here is in the bass. And here we have a C major second inversion. Okay, so how do we take that theory and how do we utilize it to figure out shapes all over the neck? Uh, let's start with notes and shapes on the G, the B and the high E string. So just a normal C major first, we need to find a C on the G string. Our C is here on the fifth fret. We have then our E and our G. Now, how did I know this shape? so quickly. It's because it's my, my root notes here, C is here. And I know straight away that that's a C major. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of just cutting those, that A and D string off, and I'm playing my C major here. Frets five, five and three, C, E and G. So how do we then play a C major first inversion? Well, we'd find an E on the G string, which is up here on fret nine. And we would be playing E, G, and C. So we'd have our C major first inversion. And the shape that I'm recognizing here, my root note of C is here. I'm playing the C major using the E shape here. And I'm just cutting off all those strings. So we have our C major first inversion. And finally, we want a G along this string, which is our 12th fret. And we would have G, C, and E. 12, 13, 12. And that looks pretty familiar to me. It's the D major shape, uh, kind of up here on, uh, on the high frets here. So we have C major, C major first inversion, C major second inversion. All really good, useful shapes to know. Um, and the cage shape chords that we're using there is the A shape, the E shape, and the D shape. Now we can take that theory and we can apply it now to minor chords uh, if we wanted to play a C minor. So the note that changes in a C minor is the E. It goes from an E to an E flat. So now we can play C, E flat, G. We find our E flat up here. We have E flat, G, C. And again, if we find our E flat up here for the second inversion, we have G, C, E flat. And again, we're using all the same shapes. A minor, cutting it all off. E minor shape, just cutting off the uh, E, A, D string. And finally, our D shape again. Um, so what happens then if we want to change the strings? Uh, let's experiment and use the D, G, and B string. So, change of strings and change of chord. Let's go for G major and its inversions this time. And we're looking for notes on the D, G, and the B string. So the first one's pretty straightforward. We want a G along the D, so that's on our fifth fret. Uh, we then want a B, which would be our third, and we want a D, which is our fifth. So we've got a nice G major here, and you might recognize that from the E shape, uh, but just using the D, G, and B 
strings there. So G major, uh, now G major first inversion. So we take our third, which in the case of G is our B and B on the D string is up here on the ninth fret. And we want B, D and G. Uh, we might look at this and think, oh, that's a bit of a weird one. So we're frets nine, seven and eight. Uh, but our root note is here on the 10th fret, there's our G. So if we include that, then we've just got a C major shape. Uh, but again, cutting off some strings. So we're just utilizing uh, the D, G and B string. And we have our G major first inversion. And finally, our G major second inversion. So we want our D in uh, as the root note or the lowest note. And our D's up here on the D string, fret 12. And we have D. G and B, pretty straightforward. A nice G major second inversion of a G root notes over here. You can see we're using the A shape there. Great. Uh, how about G minor chords? Uh, so again, the note that's changing is the B to a B flat. So that's our third to our flat third. And we have a G, B flat, D, using that E shape again. G minor, then we want our B flat on the D string. So we'd have fret eight, fret seven, and fret eight again. We have B flat, D, G, kind of using a C minor shape, which we don't see very often. Uh, but again, a nice sounding minor chord. And finally, our second G minor, uh, second inversion, G minor, uh, we'd have our D, G, and our B flat on the B string. 12, 12, 11, utilizing that A minor, A minor shape, G minor, second inversion. That's it. That's uh, what I would then ask you to do maybe at home uh, is find some inversions for D major, but just using the A, D and G string. So you'd want the notes D, F sharp, A, uh, and then for your D major first inversion, you want F sharp, A, D. And then for your second inversion, you would want A, F sharp, D. You get the idea, change it to minor and see what shapes you recognize. Um, but I think it's a really good tool to know uh, to kind of using these high inversion shapes uh, all, all along the neck. It's good theory, it's a good exercise. And uh, yeah. Generally, uh, see how you get on. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll try and get back to you. Okay, I'll leave you with that. So uh, if you enjoyed these kind of triads and these kind of inversions, then I'd really implore you to go over to our Viva Guitar online course. Um, sign up if you're interested. Uh, and if you go over to level four, uh, type in the search bar, uh, inversions, you'll find Tricky Triads, I think is our chapter on inversions. And it goes through loads and loads of exercises, the tab, the shapes, and songs that kind of use these inversions. They're great songs, they kind of take all of the G shape, A shape, C shape, all of these inversions, whether they're second or first inversions, and they put them all in songs. And I'd really encourage you to go over, have a look, if you are interested in this kind of thing. Um, I mean, there's a whole host of more information on there as well. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're liking the channel and uh, give it a share, it'd be really helpful for us. Uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one.